Ready for some more. Welcome back, Larry Campbell, Teresa Williams, and band. A hero of both Teresa and mine, uh, Mr. Carl Perkins, who, uh, and uh, Carl come, came from about 40 miles from where Teresa was born and raised, and uh, um, and not only was he uh, just a wonderful, a wonderful and innovative musician, he was also a great human being, and uh, and he left a charity in his name down there in West Tennessee called the. Uh, Carl Perkins Center for the Prevention of Child Abuse, and it's a wonderful charity, and um, they do great work, and anybody's interested should look that up and throw them some bread when you can. And, uh, um, but here's a tune that was off his first record when, uh, when he was a stone-cold country singer, and it's called Turn Around. a show tonight, but uh, I left my guitar in my hotel room. I got here getting out of the car and I was like, uh, I don't have a guitar. Fortunately, we're at Yorma's guitar camp and uh, <laughs> I've decided I'm going to leave my guitar in my hotel room every time I come here now because look what he loaned me. <laughs> Larry has one almost just like it and I've just been standing here playing for the first set and thinking would Larry let me take his guitar on the road <laughs> probably not <laughs> Christmas time's coming yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
this next song, we have never done it before, and uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah. But I would like to say it, it. I grew up singing this song. Let's hope I remember the words tonight. But I did grow up singing this song at church, and I would like to uh, give another shout-out to my parents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <You didn't know. laughs> The pause was not to get you to clap. It was just for me to hold it together while I said, um, uh, while I got it together to say, uh, they taught me everything that I am doing to making a living now. I would never have had to gone to school. I'm doing what they taught me in the living room. Seriously, every night after supper. And yesterday on the drive up here, my mother, it's, we'd been in the car for a lot of hours and uh we were it was late and uh she was like still let's sing i just love the harmony come on let's sing. <laughs> she and off she would go it's great so i'm really lucky to um uh have the parents that i grew up with because we don't have music in the public schools in west tennessee i know i bring this up a lot at concerts but if you ever get a chance to vote on anything that would affect that i mean it's not your state i know but uh you know anything that's national that can be i mean they say music if they start kids on music at a really they know which age you're supposed to start them on that it'll wire their brains up better for science and math and everything so uh you know if we want the advantage of of having kids who are like really smart in the world uh, field, um, it's a no-brainer, I would think. I'm surprised they don't require it in all the schools. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just lucky I had the parents I had, and my mother would keep us late from school to uh, finish our piano lessons in the morning, so thank you, Mama. <laughs>
another tune off our record here, our last record, and um, it has nothing to do with this evening because. <laughs> the song is called It Ain't Gonna Be a Good Night. <laughs>
this is a tune that um, I had the pleasure and the honor of co-writing with the great Mr. William Bell. And William, for those of you who are unfamiliar with him, was uh, the first male soul singer to be signed to Stax Records in Memphis in 1961, I think it was. And uh, he wrote Born Under a Bad Sign and, um, and uh, You Don't Miss Your Water Till Your Well Runs miss Dry. Don't Miss Your Water yeah, it's a beauty, Till it? Your yeah. Well Well And a bunch of tunes with, uh, with Booker T. Jones and a bunch of tunes for Otis Redding and Sam and Dave and, and Isaac Hayes and all those guys. And, uh, and I would just it. like to say he is still doing it. And ladies, close your ears, Larry. <laughs> He still looks good, and he still sounds good. He's the real thing, William. Just saying. Great singer. Hold yeah. that microphone down to here, and you can see. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he helped me with the lyrics on this tune, and it, it's called When I Stop Loving You. Heaven knows I've been forgetful Lately my mind can't get no rest And if it seems I've been neglectful tired and I ain't been at my bed I know you've been missing my affection making you think And I'm gonna hear 
set up an, in, an opportunity to make music with this gentleman. Please welcome the man, Mr. Yorma Kalkinen, to this stage. First time to come to first peace and by the to for peace and by the end of the day my mother was actually calling Yorma Yorma instead of Yarma Yar Yarma. And Larry's mother, till the day she died, called him Jorma. Well, I, t I told you guys at dinner that when my mom fisted at my dad, she called him Jorma. That was when as soon as that J sound happened, we knew there was you trouble knew it in was <laughs>
one where that old choir Amen Where that all saints choir Amen Somewhere singing in glory Amen Somewhere singing in glory Amen One where my old elder When you go down to the bell just to have a little fun, better bring fifty dollars when that policeman comes. Oh, sweet mama, daddy's got them deep bellum blue. Oh, sweet mama, daddy's got them deep. When you go down to Deep Ellum, put some money in your pants. 
You know, all them pretty women never give a man a chance. Oh, sweet mama, daddy's got them deep double blue. Oh, sweet mama, daddy's got them deep double blue. Ain't that right? When you go down to the bellum, put some money in your sack. All them red-headed women gonna throw you on the rock. Oh, sweet mama.
Go down to New Bedlam just to have a little fun. But a brand Well, I taught the weeping willow how to cry, cry, cry. I taught the clouds how to cover up a clear blue sky. The tears cry for that woman gone. Heard you my river, and I'm gonna sit right here until my So the draw, I heard it scream and back down streams of old wind down the cold. And I followed you, big river, when you
death will leave you standing crying, 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 crying. So we've already done two Reverend Gary tunes tonight, and uh, we got to end with one more because 
you know, I've told this story a million times, but when I was a kid, uh, this was probably 1968, maybe 1967, watching Pete Seeger's Rainbow Quest show, this huge guy, blind guy with a huge guitar and a huge voice was on that show and um, scared the hell out of me. <laughs> he, uh, he was playing stuff on the guitar that I didn't even know you could play on the guitar. And it was coming from an angle that I had never experienced before. Come to find out that was Reverend Gary Davis. And, um, and I spent, you know, I had just been playing guitar about two years or something like that. And I and went to the library because I couldn't afford a record and borrowed it from the record, from borrowed his street singer record. And, um, tried to cop what he was doing on that record, and it was just a little out of my reach, you know, and because and, it was so, it was so uh, angular and coming from this, this uh, raw direction that I, I couldn't really, you know, uh, uh, it didn't have a flow to it, you know, and, and, um, but it was mesmerizing. And then about sometime within that year or a year later, I saw Jack and Yorma, and... Um, Yorma was playing that stuff in a way that I could really digest it. And, um, and that's when Yorma became my hero. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and subsequently, I, I got what I could off of that Hot Tuna record. And, um, and uh, that was, you know, that was my entrance into the Reverend Gary secrets. And, and, um, Years later, I was able to go back to Reverend Gary's source and and get my own uh, interpretation of that stuff too, you know. But but so if Yorma and I are playing together, you can't do too much Reverend Gary, and <laughs> and I love the way she sings this. So here we go, and once again, the incredible Justin Gwip on the drums. <laughs> The immensely talented Mr. Jesse Murphy on the bass.
Let's hear it for Larry Campbell, <laughs> Teresa Williams, and the great band they brought here tonight. Thank you all for coming out. Take it nice and easy driving out of here. Remember our neighbors on the road like us to go slow. And uh, Larry and Therese will be out in just a few minutes. Thanks again. You all bless way up.